Hi, it's Dan here from Flexible and today we're going to talk about how you can fire conversion events on buttons with Google Ads. Alright, this is super important. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so why is this important, right? If you're running Google Ads, and it could be search ads, it could be GDN, it could be YouTube ads, um, it could be discovery ads, whatever that is, you're going to be sending tra uh, traffic to essentially a funnel. I mean, there's a whole you know, massive industry around funnels, right? We've heard of quick funnels and all of these tools, which is built highly on the conversion side of things, right? So if you're driving traffic to a funnel, you want it to convert. The problem is that most lead gen agencies uh, and what they do is they, they just focus on the conversion element of that funnel, all right? So let's say you drive 100 clicks to that funnel, it converts 10 people and they're kind of happy with that 10, right? But not many people understand or, or track what happens to the other 90 people. It's, it's super important. Important, right so what you can do with with uh, you know you can do it with any ad, ad platform if you really want but we're going to show you how to, to do it today in Google so if you're running well you know let's say a YouTube ad to a landing page and on that landing page it could be three or four different buttons you could be sending that traffic to an advertorial or you could have um, people downloading a PDF file on that landing page rather than opting in um, as a micro commitment then what we're going to show you how to do, uh, my um, tech guy Graham is going to show you how to, to, to get that conversion event firing and pull that conversion event into the Google Ads platform, which will mean that if you're running traffic and you're getting those 100 clicks, you're still getting the 10 um, conversions. What happens to the other 90? Well, now you'll know that a certain percentage of those 90 click, the, click various other buttons on the page, um, which will be able to tell you what's working and what isn't working and help with your conversion metrics. So without further ado, I'm going to pass over to Graham, show you how to set this up. I hope you really in, enjoy this video and you can get cracking because it's going to really help your lead gen campaigns. Hey guys, um, today we're going to go over how to um, fire uh, events off of button clicks. So you could fire conversions uh, for Facebook or um, Google, or you can send events into um, your analytics account. Um, so to show you how to do this via Tag Manager, obviously you need a Tag Manager and you need it um, put onto your to your sites. Um, and the first thing we want to do uh, is we want to go to um, Triggers, uh, and then we want to set up a new trigger. Um, so what we want to do is this is going to be a generic click trigger, um, and we don't want to do any sort of um, Filtering, we just want all clicks. So we'll go to the click element, all elements, and all clicks, and we're gonna press um, save. Cool, so we've got that set, they've got that set up. Then we wanna go to variables. Um, and then we wanna go to configure. We're just going to clicks, and you wanna make sure you've got every single one of these checked, all the clicks um, stuff is checked. Which I've already done, um, so that's all good. Uh, and then you come out of that, and that should be added into the built in variables here, which you can see. So make sure that you're seeing that. <coughs> then, what, what we want to do next is we want to just press um, submit and publish, just so that uh, that trigger that we created is, uh, is published. Uh, we'll just wait for that to go. Um, Want to go back to workspace and then we want to go and press preview this will set up the the debug view um which basically um tells you what's what's happening in your gtm on your page so it's um this is where we can find the information we need to create the button click trigger um so it's opened up the site in the debug view uh, so what you want to do is you want to go and um click on a few things so we'll click on that I don't know if we've got any, any more links. Um, no. no more. So this is the, this is basically the button click we want uh, to fire uh, our events on. Um, if you have more than one button, I suggest clicking on a few of the buttons, um, and I'll tell you why in just a sec. But we've just got the one, um, so we'll click on that again. We're going to go back to Tag Assistant up here, uh, and now down here you should see what's been happening on the page so you can see like scroll depth clicks have happened so if you go into the a click 
and then you want to go to variables um, and this will kind of tell you uh, what the click was so this uh, here says we closed uh, the exit pop so that was when we clicked the X on the exit pop to get rid of it this one was uh, a button click this one again was closing down I think the pop-up that come when we click the button click and then this is another but button click so um, the one thing you want to be looking at, so I clicked this button twice and we got a lot more information in the variable section here than we did on the previous one. So what I'd be looking at is what stays constant in um, what's being sent back to Google Tag Manager. And I believe it is the click text here. Uh, we just go up here. Yeah, so it's the click text that, that stays constant. So what we're looking for here is anything uh, which we can use uh, to trigger the event on. Um, so we could uh, trigger it on class, we could trigger it on the click ID, um, but what I'm gonna trigger it on is the click text. And if you're gonna trigger it on, and you can trigger it on any, anything you want, but it's important that it triggers every time. This is being sent every time, as you can see uh, with the two clicks that we've done. Some reason it's not triggering this stuff all the time. So this is the uh, best bet for me, uh, but obviously check your own stuff. Um, but let's go and s amend that click trigger now um, with this in mind. So we're gonna X out of uh, the debug and we want to go and find that trigger we just did. I'm gonna go to triggers. I believe it was, what did I call it? Generic click trigger here. So then we go back into this uh, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this to uh, to this, oh, I can't, can't do that. okay, cool. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is just gonna amend it. So it's, still clicks all elements but you want, you want to go to some clicks now here this is where we added in, in the variables um, and now we can select one of these um, so I'm going to go with click text and I'm going to do contains and then uh, I'm just going to double check send me the escape plan cool Cool, um, so that's what I'm gonna do as the filter, and then I'm going to press save. Cool, so now we've set up the trigger, uh, we wanna set up a new tag uh, to make sure it works. So we wanna go to tags, and we wanna go to uh, new. So what I'm gonna set up is a uh, Google Analytics uh, tag first. Uh, let's name this. In Click. Oh, my spelling's terrible today. Um, and then we want to go to Google Analytics, Universal An Analytics, and we are going to fire an event. Uh, so category, uh, we could do um, click, and then action. Let's name it Escape Plan. Button click. And then we want to basically put in our UA, uh, Universal Analytics code, which we can go into analytics and find quite easily. And you want to go to admin. And you want to go to property when it comes up. Uh, tracking info, tracking code. And what you want to find is this little tracking ID here. So we're gonna copy and paste that in here. And that should all be good. Then we want to find our trigger, which is this one here. And we wanna press save. And we wanna press submit. So once that's submitted, we wanna open back up the uh, debug settings. Uh, so go back to work workspace, 
and press preview and we're not open back up that debug view <clears throat> cool uh, type in your uh, page URL again and press connect and then we'll open it up and then what I would do is you want to um, click on the button that you want the event to fire on like so and you want to go back to tag assistant so there should there should already be a click uh, that's the click there um, and then in this section here uh, you can see what tags are fired and what was not fired so it looks like our tag has uh, been fired so I'm just gonna go to variables just to double check it's all coming through so yep that's coming through again which is good go back to tags and you can click on the tag fired and then um, you can see that event equals click tick and the text has contained what we put in there so this should have worked um, perfectly so I want to go into my analytics account now and I want to go uh, to uh, real time and I want to go to events and see if it's been populated inside Google An Analytics which you can see uh, it has been so you've got the click and you've got the escape plan button click there um, so as you can see that's all good and then you can start um, creating other things to tr trigger off this so for example you can start triggering uh, say Google conversions uh, quite quite easily um, so do I already have a conversion for that no might not so you can easily create a new conversion um, I'm not gonna do that now I'm just gonna use um, one that I've already got here So you can easily just uh, grab conversion script there, uh, bring it back in on, on your tags. New. And you can set it up like you would normally. Um, I normally do custom HTML anyway. And then you can just set it up on your button click. And Just uh, get rid of this little bit here. There we go. So save that uh, and then submit. And then, yeah, and you can literally fire anything off this and it'll, and it'll be fired on that button click. So any sort of events in any platform you're using, um, you can fire it off of. Um, so I hope that's been helpful for you guys. Um, please give us a, a comment if you want any questions answering on this um, or if you, have, if you have any questions at all. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. All right, so if you've enjoyed uh, the content today and Graham's really shown you some good stuff, then please do like this video so we know to create more videos like it. Uh, also, if you've got any comments or questions for Graham, then please type in the chat box. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. And lastly, please subscribe to our channel uh, so you'll be f the first to know when we create new stuff. If you're looking to transition away from retainer clients and move to performance-based lead gen, we have a game plan on how you can do that. It's really good stuff. Click on the link below. I think it'll be in the comments box or whatever or in, inside the video and we'll send over that game plan to you. Please enjoy.